Hello, all my pre-med students, undergrad, graduate students, gap year students, law students, all alike. Um, welcome to my channel. My name is Essence at the Powerful Chick on Instagram, but you can call me S. And this is my first YouTube video. And as you can see by the thumbnail and the title, I'm going to be sharing all the nitty gritty details. I'm going to be putting myself out there. It took a lot for me to launch my channel not even that to make this particular video where I'm going to be telling you guys I already told you what my GPA was and we all know how secretive the pre-med community is but I'm really trying to break those barriers and spread transparency um because we all don't you know run out get out the gate running at full speed and are successful the first time around right so i'm here to drop gems and inspire you guys and simply just share my journey i want to be clear i am nobody's pre-med advisor okay so sue me if you want to i don't have any money for you so that's going to be a waste of your time i'm just here to share all the advice i've gained the insight i've gained from talking to people from attending webinars and conferences and from my mentors that I have and just prevent you from making the same mistakes that I did um, from wasting time. I wasted two years time and just to help you get to your destination a little bit faster and um, just appreciate the ride. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we're going to be talking, sis. So um, please keep watching and we will see you soon. So hello, all my nosy viewers. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm simply here, like I've stated before, to share my story um whether it is because you're here to be nosy if you're here to be inspired if you're here because you're stuck like i was with a low gpa if you have a borderline gpa and you don't know if you should go ahead and apply or um <clears throat> get into a master's program slide in my dms ask me those questions watch my videos comment down below and tell me what your videos you want to know about my path, my journey, and what I've done and been so far, you know, and I will definitely, definitely answer your questions and just tell you what you want to know, okay? But anyways, so I am a pre-med graduate student in a master's linkage program. Now, we both know that is a miracle that I am in this program with my GPA, okay? Um, and I don't know, I can't tell you how I got in to multiple programs. Maybe it's my sparkling personality. <laughs> no, but really though, because I really think one of the factors that got me into multiple programs was my personal statement and my letters of recommendation by the grace of God. Um, but I really do. That was my, think that was my saving grace. Um, so I got into multiple programs and I just want to kind of rewind back to undergrad and give you guys a whole glimpse of my story and how I started out. So I was, I went, I graduated from the University of South Carolina in Columbia in 2018. I was a psychology major and my minor or cognate, is that what they call it? Whatever. Pre-med, um, yeah, was pre-med. So I took all the pre-med, pre-reqs. Pre um, except for two, except for organic two and biochemistry. I don't really know why I didn't take it. I, I don't remember, but I didn't take them before I graduated. Um, so I did that. I actually, my, my transcript actually says a 2.7. Um, but as you can see, my GPA is a 2.5. That's simply because I failed and retook two classes under my university's grade forgiveness policy so they replaced the, the f's with the better grades um but as we know or as you should know or you will find out <laughs> i'm letting you know that double a m c does not it doesn't exist grade forgiveness does not exist so they will recalculate your gpa with those f's or c's or d's or whatever you had and with the retake and they will make a new gpa for you and that's what medical students will see so that's why my gpa on my transcript says 2.7 but 
medical schools will see a 2.5. So that is great for you to know if you ever retook a class, please, please, please make sure you calculate that GPA correctly because you will be in for a shock if you go to apply for medical school and you see a different GPA. So there is that. What else? Um, my GPA, why was my GPA so low? I did not take school seriously. I didn't take a life seriously, you guys. I finessed my way through school. I was going to my professors. Oh, I really need help. I need an extension. I need an incomplete. I'm depressed. I'm just going through a lot. <laughs> I'm I'm embarrassed to say that, but that's what I did. Um, I never went to class. I... I don't have an excuse. I was just simply immature. I was not ready for the journey. I always knew I wanted to be a physician. It wasn't something that I just decided on later in life. I always wanted to be a physician. I just was not ready when I was an undergrad. I needed to mature more. I needed to work in the workforce more and just grow up. Simply, I needed to grow up. So <clears throat> when I graduated from undergrad, I worked as a scribe in the emergency room for almost a year. I got an opportunity in DC, so that's where I moved there. There I worked as a laser technician in the operating room, which was an awesome job. I thanked them for the opportunity. So I operated the laser for the surgeon in those surgeries. Great, great experience. Then I also, and then after that, I got an opportunity to work with one of those surgeons in his practice as a medical assistant without a degree. Once again, you just have to shoot your shot because that's what I did. I shoot, I shot my shot and I got in, I got a job as a medical assistant without a certification. And just, you guys just go on Indeed and apply for things, apply for everything. If it says preferred, um, certification preferred, still apply. The worst they can say is no. So I got, so in all in all, all in all, I cannot talk today, you guys, but I have plenty of clinical experience. In addition, in undergrad, I worked as a early autism therapist for children and I drove a, for a private ambulance company. I don't think I'm gonna put those on my application. <clears throat> I might, I don't, I don't think so though, because they'll just be filler stuff and it's, there's, I, nah, whatever. Um, but yeah, so there's that. So then I applied where I decided I was going to apply no matter what. You know, I wanted to start my master's program no matter what. No more holding it off. No more gap years. I need to get going because I don't want to be 50 in medical school. Even though if you're 50 trying to go in medical school, you should do it. It just wasn't. I just didn't want to. I, you, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say. But, um... So I decided to apply. I was going to take my MCAT because a lot of my mentors um, were telling me that it would be easier just to get the MCAT out the way. So when you're in your master's program, all you have to do is focus on killing it, getting good grades, 4.0, yada, yada, yada. But so I tried, but my MCAT got canceled due to COVID. I think it got canceled twice. So I kind of just pivoted really quickly and took the GRE because most programs allowed that. Again, I did plenty, plenty, plenty of research before I made that decision. I was just calling. And when I say research, I was looking on websites. I was calling schools, all that stuff. You know, I was, and I called schools like two, three times, you know? But um, I did that. I pivoted, studied for the GRE for about a month, and then I took it, and then I applied. We got in, sis. We got in, and we are prospering. Um, what else? I started my master's program in September. I won't go into detail about the master's program I got into into this video, but it's all over my Instagram, so be sure to go follow there and continue watching my journey, following my journey on Instagram. But um, yeah, so I started, just finished my first semester. It was great, okay? Um, it went well. It was a big adjustment to, from undergrad, not even undergrad, just undergrad from being out of school for two years to jumping into graduate level classes, the same kind of material, the same material that um, medical schools are learning from the same professors um, that are teaching the medical students. So it was great. I finished, I killed the semester. If you want to hear more about my semester and what I did, how I studied, um, just comment down below and let me know. 
but that is all so far i'm about to begin my second semester in the program you can finish it at your own pace you can do it in two semesters three semesters four semesters i'm doing mine in four also wanted to enhance application in other ways by which getting more leadership um, experience and volunteer experience. So I wanna make sure I keep those positions and show consistency on my application. So which is why I chose to complete it in four years, um, four years, four semesters, two years. Yeah, there we have it, a short synopsis of what I've been through so far and where I'm going. Please, 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 if you want to follow me in my journey, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, um and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video bye